It is just amazing and shocking, especially when you see food sitting outside in the sun, waiting to be either brought in or it looked to me like they were trying to unload the pallets and try to put it out on the floor or maybe they're just trying to make room in the back room to shove it somewhere. But wait till you see these pictures, folks. So this past week, I did receive a couple of interesting emails from community members. And one of them was an employee for Walmart. And in the shocking images you're going to see is just incredible, folks. No. And, and the shocking the truth is in the photo right here of the food setting outside in the sun. Now, as you can see, there's mayonnaise on top. Uh, there's canned goods and everything else. Uh, the bags at the bottom almost look like what flour or sugar could be in. And this stuff is setting outside, probably because there is no room inside, folks. And the other one, um, this person was shopping at Sam's, and this person sent two pictures and wanted to show me all the different junk food and how they're piling it on the floor and it's just like the guy said that they were just, it was just aisles and aisles of this stuff, you know, just candy and popcorn and chips and everything else. And it was just everywhere, you know? And then he did send me the one here of the um, paper towels and toilet paper and all that. You know, they got them piled, you know, they, they don't have room for them. You know, they ran out of room. But one also has a question Are these from of another time? Were they made a while back and stuck on containers? See, this is the thing we really have to wonder, you know, because it is what it is, folks. And we don't have any control over it, don't do we? You know, there was this one picture here, you know, you can just see this stuff is just stacked. The shelves and stuff for their, their back rooms are just full. They're just crammed full, folks. I mean, they're just... They're just having to put it on pallets, carts, wherever they can find to put it. And in some areas, if it's like a little cubby hole or something, they just cram it all in there. Imagine. You know, the aisles are so, they're supposed to be really wide. And, you know, some of these aisles, you can barely even get a hand truck or a cart down through. Then in other areas, you can barely walk through them. They're just, they're, they're so bad. Do you know how long they've been sitting out there? Do you know, you know, what were they doing? Because if you look at the one pallet, it looks like they're trying to offload it because everything else is shrink wrapped. They're trying to offload it and maybe bring it inside. And I was, you know, because heat isn't good for these type of things. Doesn't surprise me because Walmart and Sam's are definitely way overstocked right now with everything, not just food but all types of goods because they're getting in a lot of product that has been waiting to get over here. They got stuck on containers and everything else, either at sea, at the ports, on trains, trucks, whatever the case may be, but they're getting all these products and stuff. And now my local Walmart, and I just went to it to, uh, yesterday. I mean, it's just piled right up. Uh, and if you notice, if you went on and you looked at some of these things, and if you've done a little research like I have, some of these products are from 2020, 2021, you know, like iPads and uh, cell phones and all this kind of stuff. Where has this stuff been setting? Are this just a way for them to clean out their warehouse and tell us, quote, we're getting a good deal? And they've always wanted to try to compete with Amazon. But now they're offering these insanely, seems like really good deals, but it's on older product here yet. So I think this is Walmart's way of taking and trying to make sure that they are trying to get rid of all their goods and move all those products, make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside because maybe you got a really good deal since we're in this high inflation. They're gonna ship it to you for free. And you and know, everybody feels really good. The only problem is the only one laughing to the bank is Walmart because you're buying products that are a year, two years old, and, and nobody knows where these products have been sitting. 
now they're saying okay these are online products so they've been sitting in a warehouse but they could have been on a truck somewhere they could have been on a container somewhere maybe they got a fluctuation of all these goods and they want to get rid of them before anything really starts to go wrong with them who knows but one has to question right I mean, I understand there's a lot of people out here that do not like shopping at Walmart. They say they refuse to shop at Walmart and everything else. But in this day and age, when you start seeing really good deals, you know, and you can save quite a bit of money, you're probably going to look at these and say, well, you know, maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe not. That's all up to you. I'm just reporting what has been sent to me and, you know, some of these pictures and everything else. And... You know, I mean, the thing of it is, folks, what are you going to do?